Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrew Matthew back again with another video. In this video, I'm reviewing another anamorphic lens by Ulanzi. This lens is going to be hard to review without repeating things I've already said in my 1.55 XC anamorphic lens review by Ulanzi as well. So, this video will double as a review and a comparison between the 1.33 and 1.55x lenses. But stay tuned till the end because this lens has an awesome trick up its sleeve that I think you should know. Okay, but how good is the 1.33 XT you ask? Well, it's really Let's get the surface level stuff out of the way. There are some minor visual differences like the 1.33 XT being silver and the clippy attachment feeling slightly sturdier, but nothing game changing accessory wise. Although I did find a few attachment options that you may like. I'll leave the links in the description below, but if you want more information about them, watch my review of the 1.55 XT lens. By the way, this review isn't sponsored. I bought all of these lenses myself, so if you found it useful, hit the subscribe button. I'd like that. The main decision-making difference between the 1.55 XT and 1.33 XT comes down to the aspect ratio and by extension the field of view. You might hear wider field of view is better but that's not necessarily the case. The 1.33 aspect ratio is usually closer to most movies these days and assuming that's the aspect ratio you're aiming for then this is the lens you should choose. But neither choice is necessarily good or bad, it's just different. As the 1.33 is still an anamorphic lens, you still need to de-squeeze in post or use an app like MC Pro 24 FPS to de-squeeze while you shoot. Watch my last video if you want to know how to de-squeeze your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. You also get a 52mm filter thread adapter, meaning you can attach an ND filter on this thing, which I suggest you do if you're shooting outside. Now, do I recommend this for regular YouTube videos knowing that ultra-wide videos don't support features like end screen cards? Actually, yes. Because Motion Cam and MC Pro 24 FPS allows you to shoot in 4x3 aspect ratio. And after de-squeezing the video by 1.33 and some minor crop, it becomes a 16x9 video, which is perfect for YouTube. In fact, I'm sure you've realized this by now, but this whole section of the video is being shot using the lens in 4x3 and de-squeezed to fit 16x9 using Motion Cam and Adobe Premiere Pro. I still wouldn't recommend this lens for casual video shoots, but if you like the anamorphic aesthetics but still want your videos to be optimized for YouTube, this is one of the ways to do it without having to crop most of your pixels out. Final question from me to you, did you enjoy the video? Because if you think that it helped even just a little bit, I'd ask that you consider subscribing for more tech and gaming content. See you guys in the next one. Peace.